Hey guys, I got a little bit different kind of video for you today. Um, just more of rather kind of what's going on with me and how what's going on up here. <laughs> um, it's definitely a more somber video than what you're used to probably. But I think it's uh, one that hopefully other people will be going through. And, uh, you know, I just at least wanted to get it off my mind. So um, lately I've been feeling that self-worth... Um, is directly can be directly correlated to photography and you don't really think about like what photography can really do to your mind um, for example my mind never shuts off <laughs> this thing's always going all the time and it's it's really frustrating <laughs> because I have a beautiful one month uh, one year old daughter who uh, time is fleeting you know, during these times, and I have a beautiful wife, a beautiful family that I um, absolutely love to spend every waking moment with. And even so, this mind, this brain never shuts off. And it's always thinking about one thing. And take a guess at what it's thinking about. It's thinking about photography. It's thinking about where I can go on the next trip. It's thinking about what edits I have to do. It's thinking about um, all these different projects that I have going on. And I think a lot of photography is directly correlated to self-worth. Um, a big example of that is also social media. Um, sometimes we get so wrapped up in numbers like following count and um, uh, a certain post doesn't go very well. Well, immediately you can easily start to think that because those numbers didn't work out that your photo sucks and you're doing something wrong when exact when actually it's the exact opposite. So I think there's a lot of little things that us photographers go through that really we do struggle with quite a bit, you know, behind the scenes. And uh, like right now, that's kind of what I'm feeling is I kind of feel like a lot of my self-worth has been compromised by photography, which is a shame because um, I, I mean, I absolutely love it. I think that's why we all get into it is because we absolutely love taking pictures. We love everything about photography. Um, but we also have lives too. You know, we have, uh, I have my beautiful wife and my beautiful family. Um, I do other many kinds of hobbies also, aside from photography. Yet photography can be so consuming um, on one psyche. And it's really frustrating when you, all I want is for this brain to shut off and it's just not shutting off. More than anything, I guess what I wanted to say was that it can be very easy. It can be very easy to be overwhelmed by photography um, to the fact, to the point that you can actually get depressed. Um, it's really been affecting me lately, uh, especially the holidays just passed. Uh, I had all my, my, my mom and my sister and all my family come and see me and that was just such a beautiful time. Yet the entire time I was thinking about photography, and it really was frustrating. My daughter just turned a year old a couple days ago, and it feels like I was there, but I wasn't there, if that makes any sense. So photography can really be consuming for all of us. And I can't really be the only one who feels this way. I really can't. There's got to be other people out there. So if there are... Just know that you're not alone. There's thousands of us out there, us crazy brainiacs who never, ever stop, <laughs> who never stop their craft. But then again, do you really want to stop the craft? I don't think we do. So how do you find that balance between the two? And there are some people out there who are not as sensitive to it as I am. Some people can go and go and go and go and be like machines and pump out work and, and, and remain in the zone while maintaining life and, and, and family and balancing all these other things with photography. They can also post stuff online and, and uh, you know, not be affected by social media. 
Unfortunately, I'm not one of those people. <laughs> I'm a highly sensitive person, so... Um, but we're not alone. Unfortunately, that's the plight of being the creative artists that we are, is that our brains never shut off. And we continually have issues with creating and creating and creating and we don't stop and we get overwhelmed and it's very easy to do so and I'm feeling it right now. So if you're feeling the same way, just know you are not alone. Um, and it will bring about depression as it's hitting me a little bit right now, but do know that you are not alone. You are creating something absolutely beautiful in this world. You are making a difference. You're sharing your vision with the rest of us. And that is something that is more fabulous than you can ever fathom. Um, if you are feeling depression over photography, uh, depression can be a good thing. And we all know it can be the exact opposite. But it's having that support system near you. It's having that, that knowledge that you are doing something right. You are being creative. You are contributing something massively beautiful to this world and you are not alone. I just wanted to get this message out to you guys. Uh, more normal videos coming soon, but I just wanted to get this out there and let you know that, hey, we're going to do this. We got this. We're going to make it happen. So I guess that's it. So we will talk to you guys later. Take care.